We just logged into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email and I can send you information on their VIP trial. It's for 30 days, so that should give you plenty of time to try it out. It really is a great place to play. And there are five versions of the game here. So you can even branch out and learn some new ways to play. Let's check out these tiles. We have a flower. We have one, two, three, four in BAMs, eight crack, two, eight, all singles in number tiles. We have a red pair white dragons, north and east. So our multiple is with the white dragon. We might be able to play a year hand or winds and dragons. So I think that is where I would focus and let's discard 148. I think that looks pretty good. Whether or not we use the flower, we'll see what comes in. We have a west now, so there's a west. We do have like numbers with threes and like numbers with twos. There, oh, and like numbers with eights also. But let's see, so red and white red and white okay well let's keep we have to make a choice in here let's go with let's go with the concealed news hand that way we can leverage the dragons and three wins let's see if we can get more wins in here maybe we could keep the two dot just to see if year tiles come in because we could play that third hand down under the year category and there's a white dragon so let's keep it. I think that news concealed hand looks promising right now. We'll pass those three and let this two dot go. So the key here is going to be north and south, but we can use any number of jokers. We already have the east-west singles. And there's another west, which we really don't need for that hand. Well, we can maybe keep that two again. Although, if we did play the news year hand, we would have to throw away a pair of white dragons. So, I don't think so. Let's let it go. Let's see if we can keep going with this Charleston. Let's see, east and west. Okay, so we have two, four, 249 can go. So with those white dragons and then almost news right there. If we get more dragons, maybe we could switch to the second wind hand. Winds and dragons. All dragons. Pungs of two dragons and then a, or no, no. Kongs of two dragons and a pung of one with a pung of flowers. And we do have a flower. Let's see if we can pick up a green dragon. Not yet. So let's let's discard one eight. I mean, part of me is thinking maybe we could play east and west with that short run, one, two, three, and use six, seven, eight, but we have a gap and that would be a pair gap with the seven. So I don't think so. I think that would be risky. We'll just keep gathering. The challenge with playing wins is that at the beginning of the pick and discard phase of the game, if people aren't playing wins, they go down fast. So we could get a little stuck. Here's a 2-3 now. This is where I was thinking about east and west with a short run. We could do 2-3 four bam which was going around let's just pass two and keep our options open we maybe could have discarded the west but if we discarded the west why keep the two three we got a one one two three one two three with east and west kongs they want two tiles we're kind of in between 
we really don't need the flower, but I do not like passing flowers. So I think we'll just do one. We'll let the three dot go and see how this develops. We're between hands, but we're in the same category. Either way, we are not going to need the flower unless we draw well with winds, because we could maybe play that third hand down. Nine dots. We'd have to throw away a pung of dragons. East wind. That's why I think, yeah, we're not ready for that. This is what I mean about winds. They go down Three fast. Three dots. If someone's not playing them. So the player on our right likely will not be in winds. Nine dots. Okay, five dot we don't need. Five dots. Now, there is something else we could consider here. South wind. A quint. We have a pung of west dragons. Wind. And we have a pair of, not, of wests. And we are not ready to, uh, well, we would have to con that. Let's go ahead and con it. Con. Because we could still do east and west with one, two, three. And with that quint, we just need a con. North wind. And then we'd quint the dragon and a number tile. So we're going to let the one dragon bamboo. and the flower go and just gather. It would be really nice if we can draw that west. Four dots. Four bamboos. And then we just need to build up a multiple of any number tile. Somebody kept that four in the Charleston. Okay, now we're going to keep number tiles now. Flower. So we'll just keep number tiles. Now this one bam is out. So Eight I think characters. probably that should go if we don't play east and west with the one short run. Bamboo. Oh, there's the other one bam. Now for that short run hand, we only need a single Sound bear. Win. Okay, now there. let's let the red dragon go. Red dragon. We still have two, well, really, let's see. Two dots. All but the one bam are good options for two the quint dots. of any number tile. So we're just going to wait and see where the multiple comes in. One dot. A flower. Oh. Flower. All right, we're going to try to force this quint. Either that or the east, west, one, two, three. Nine bamboos. In which case we're going to need a joker for the east. Five characters. And of course we have a pair that we need with the two. And that's a little risky. Red dragon. Red dragons are down. Red dragon. Six characters. Two characters. Uh, none of these other tiles are out yet, so they may be good candidates for the quint. Red dragon. Eight crack. Eight crack is out. Eight characters. Five bamboos. I'm thinking a quint is probably better because we have a pung of bamboos. dragons that we would have to throw away. If three you look at it bamboos. this way, though, we have three number tiles in this short run. Oh, there's a one bam now. Yeah, that we would need two. We would need two jokers there. Let's let it go. One. Bamboo. That is not a good candidate for that quint of number tiles because we would need two jokers. Eight bamboos. Now, what I was thinking is with this east and west with the short run, hmm. we would have to throw away three dragons. If we played a quint, Seven dots. we would have lots more discards because we still need a multiple in here. We really don't need the south, south and they're, they're out. One character. So we're in between, in between hands and categories, two. Eight characters. Three bamboos. Okay, now we need a pung there. And there was a hesitation on that. Three, six, three, six. Let's let the six bam go. Six bamboos. Since 
number tiles four, five, six are in the middle of that nine number range, they are more likely going to be used dots. than the edge tiles one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine. Three so in bamboos. order to maximize our potential of pairing up, I would Easy keep the edge win. tiles. Now here, let's see, nine crack. There are two or three, three bams are out now. So let's let that go. We're going to focus on the quint. And so we're going to keep fresh tiles in nine hopes dots. of pairing up or building multiples, basically. So three crack, nine crack, nine and six bamboos. dot, uh, none are out. The Easy two bam, win. one bam can go. There's a joker, East so wind. we're going to use that to separate our good South candidates wind. for that quint of number tiles. If the white dragon goes down, we can quint. Two characters. Of course, we're going to need to build up. So we need number tiles. Nine characters. Fresh number tiles. Now there's a nine crack. So that's no longer fresh. There's our first number tile multiple. The one bam can go. One bamboo. Uh, three crack, two bam, nine crack. Five there are characters. one each out of these two, so we'll let those go. Seven dots. We still can nine maybe draw characters. that west. We'll pass on that. Let's see, green dragon. That's a risky tile green to keep. Green dragon. Dragons are a hot commodity, so we'll let that go first. And then we'll let the nine crack go. Green dragon. Since there are two out. We're still in the middle game. Green dragon. Really, we need to start. We're really in the end game Eight now, though. Bamboos. So we need to let go of our riskiest tile, which right now is the three crack. Three characters. And then the two bam, there's one out. There are two nine bams out and two nine cracks are out. So those nines should be safe. Nine bamboos. There's another nine bam. Nobody wanted it, so that will be a good safe discard later. Flower. Let's hope no one's playing a year hand. The twos are out. There are two Flower. two dots, two two cracks when one two bam out so I don't think anyone's playing a year hand two bamboos the dragon may be in the wall six bamboos so we need um, a joker and another good pick Four maybe dots. we can still draw this west that would be ideal. North wind. Okay, seven bam. That is a fresh tile, so we're gonna seven let that bamboos. go. Four dots. Eight dots. No, no six dots are out yet. West wind. Oh, they got our joker. Five dots. Eight dot, one is out. One one dot is out. Let's let the the eight dot was a recent discard, so let's throw one the one. Dot. The eight dot was just recently thrown, so we can let that one eight go next. Eight characters. Eight dots. Pass. So that will be a safe discard. Nobody wanted that. Five bamboos. We got the six. Nine characters. Now we can quint either one of those. We just still need another joker in here. One dot. Another joker would be fantastic. There are none exposed Three characters. Now. We know the player on our left has one. Hmm. There's a joker now. One joker available. The three crack there. And we just picked up another joker. Dot. So now we're set on the quint. It's going, to be, it's going to be very risky to discard a white dragon right now because there are none out. Three dots. And there are several... Seven see, bamboos. There are no seven cracks out and no six, six dots. No four. Oh, we just got another joker. Nine the quint bamboos. looks pretty promising now. Seven dots. Okay, so fresh tiles we have... North wind. Four crack, seven crack, and six dot. 
six bamboos. Six bam across from us, maybe. Two, four, six, eight hand. Oh, this is a joker. Mahjong! Quint! Woohoo! So we have dragons, winds, and a number tile. And they, they're any, this is the any quint where you can have any dragon, any number tile with any wind. It's okay if they match or don't match. So there's a lot of flexibility with that hand. You just have to get a couple of jokers and then build up your multiples. So that was a fun hand to force and it worked out in our favor. Over here, we have one, three, five, five, seven, nine. I think maybe the concealed hand under odds. They actually were building it pretty nicely in there. They just, they were two away and they could use their jokers as well. Now there were two five dots out and three nine cracks. So they were going to need jokers to help them with their pums. But they had their pairs and their singles. So that was a nice attempt on that one. And then here we have a two, four, six, eight hand with dragons, fifth one down. They have a risky tile to let go of right there. Flower, that's a bit risky. In this case, nobody needed it, so it would have been safe to discard. And here we have a player with one, two, three, four, five, consecutive run, first hand under the consecutive run category in one suit. They needed five cracks and there were two out, so they were gonna need another joker. And they did have a fresh tile in there, apparently. The seven crack, none are visible. They were over here in this player's hand. They only needed a pair, so that would have been a safe discard. So we have a, a fun quint. I like that any quint. Have no fear. You can use any number of jokers in, those, in that particular hand. Actually, the fourth hand down, too, you could use any number of jokers. The other two, you need some pairs. So this is a, a fun hand to play if you happen to get jokers and big multiples. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.